in this video I'm going to show you how to draw stack plots so stack plots are like stairs one plot after that another plot after that another plot so sometime you have more than two or three samples and you want to compare the data in one graph so for that you need stack plots so first of all for instance I have three uh, samples I will just if you want to increase the number of column you just press control D so in control D you just want how many columns I need 12 columns so it will open me 12 columns right and for instance this is my second sample right the second sample and for instance this is my third sample right my third sample but don't forget basically mm, this is x axis so if you want to change this to x axis so just select it and click this x similarly this two theta is again x axis you have to change this to x axis right and you know I will show you one thing very important thing that for instance uh, if I give this is my sample uh, zinc right and this one is 10 and this one is titania right these are the three samples so an x axis I need long name uh, 2 theta 2 theta and 2 theta while on y axis I just need intensity intensity and the unit is arbitrary unit if you want to write right here so intensity is here intensity is here intensity is here right all right so intensity intensity right just select these all so you must need to make sure that 2 theta should be an x axis and intensity should be an y axis right just select this all and go to plot under the plot tab come to multiple cups and come down to the stack so they will give you this window just click ok you see now our uh, stacks uh, uh, graph already farm so this time by default you can uh, uh, do some arrangement and and so you want to delete this you can delete this and you are if you if you change the scale so the scale will be changed for all let's do this from uh, 10 to 80 the way we are usually doing and if you apply you see the changes you see the changes is occurring uh, for all these three graphs and this is vertically so take this from zero yes so 
vertically you have to change one by one here it is because the reason is uh, vertically they have different intensity you can easily see but horizontally they have the same range because we scan the samples in the same range so the this is your two theta and if you wish to change this two theta so select this and click this this is two theta yes and this is your intensity and you can do the rest of the uh, setting it's very common and easy so this is how you change the uh, for instance you give here separate color and this one you give separate color and this one gives separate color and change the right. so this is how you uh, plot uh, stacks XRE and you compare now that for this material the peak is here and for this material the small peak is here and these two material almost uh, matching each other so I hope you learn how to draw stacks graphs uh, it is very useful in research particularly if you are comparing more than two or three samples in one graph and you want to show a clear comparison so this is the best way to uh, draw it in origin using stacks uh, options. So I hope you learn how to draw XRD uh, of many samples and stack plots. If you feel difficulty drawing and uh, dealing you know, with all parameters and you still don't know, so please do not hesitate to put your comments and like the video. Thanks for watching.